Hi everyone, welcome to another video of AS Code. In this video, we will learn how to create this type of animated CSS info card like this on my computer screen. And here we have a good hover effect when you hover on it, it's going upside and one text is showing here. And here's this all of icon you can see a beautiful color effect that is every one second this color is changing it's of 360 filter color and he wrote it so let's get started this here's i have a basic html file and i have added a title that is animated css card info card and in this body section i will add a class name card and this after this card here i would add a inside this card i will add icon title and the text classes so this is three item we will using in card so this three item and this icon I am adding it see here that is demo C and I will add here the icon so title add a title here and I'm adding this type of all title and text I'm copying that so it will be faster than here so we'll copy and paste this two item more and now we'll change this title here this for the second class second card title and this third class title is contact so here you can see this description we have already write it so we'll copy and paste so that it will be faster go our videos here like this let's copy this contact text and enter here after adding this and now we'll be see here you can see the text is here and this is a green white background so now we'll design it so we'll add a style file on our body section we'll add this margin and padding and the font family and here we'll add a box sizing so this is our basic css file so now we'll copy this body section here just enter here this body and now we'll add a display flex so it will be all item flexible and justify content center and align item center so this all item will be forced to center this body class will be all item center forced to this center boy item and this main height 100 by s it will be vertically center and this background color is black but it's not working let's see and we copy this body and let's copy this body here and let's check this hot issue okay paste it and we can see here we have a dot so remove the dot and you can see that color is here so now we'll copy this card class here let's enter that card class and we'll set this width for this here we'll set this 300 pixel width here and we'll add this height also to 50 pixel and now we'll add a background this is a little bit of transparent black so like this and we can see you can see this type of color so now we'll make it a margin for this margin we will add a 20 pixel margin for this, this item we have some space now so now we will add a border radius so that is 10 pixels so and now we will add a padding that is 20 pixels so it will be top and bottom and this border will be from the whole side so you can see like this we have added this card here and now we will add a all text in the center so you can see like this this text is goes to center so now we will go to this add a color so we will add a color this it will be white color for all of this text and element so now we'll copy this icon class let's enter that icon class for this icon class we will add a padding that is 30 pixel and 33 pixel from the top and bottom and left and right and here we'll add a background is linear gradient color so we'll select this color is ratio will be 45 degree and this will add a color code so we have added a mistake so let's start again and this color we have added here again and now we'll add a dark orange orange dark like this you can see it's dark orange not red orange it's okay it's called a red orange color like this now choose that any colors but here i'm choosing that and here we'll add a font size is 20 pixel so now you can see now we'll add a set the width for this with this fit content so it will be for this content to be suitable for width for this and we'll add a border radius so it will be circle so now we'll add a make it center for this margin is here i'm adding this 10 pixel and auto so it will be forced to center you can see like this so now we'll go to this section for this title let's copy this title class here and enter the title class name here and for this we'll set the font size that is 1.7 rem and you can see like this the text here now we'll go to this for this text item let's go to this text class copy it and enter here and now we'll also set this font size for this also that is 1 rem and we'll set this some margin for this that is 10 pixel from top bottom and left right now you can see like this now we'll add a icon for this all this item here so we'll add a font or some cdn for this you can search the font or some cdn and here i'm using the latest cdn that is font or some this 5.1.53 and here this will add this link tag after this title tag and i will paste this font or some cdn 
and now we'll set this search this icon for this here i'm adding a user favorite and this contact icon so i search this now it will be take some time so now we can see it's loaded so now we'll copy this first of all user icon and go to this user icon here this profile we'll change this icon here and now we'll make this for this favorite icon just copy it and we'll enter here remove c and enter that and go to this contact icon just copy it and remove that c and enter here so now you can see all icon is successfully added and this all item is successful element here so now we'll go to for this text item we'll display it none because we don't want to display it when we want to hover it and this will be display so now we'll go to this card section so let's go to this card and when you hover the card it will be the transform it will be transition and this it will transform to the upside and it will be movement on the upside that is translate y direction it will be minus 20 pixel here so i'm adding this but you can add this as your adjustive now you can see it's going so fast so now we'll add a transition on this card item let's add a 0.5 second now you can see a smooth transition here so now we'll add copy this card over again and now we'll paste again here and now we'll add a text class for this and now we want to visible this text so let's copy this text and i will add this text class and i will add a display black display block so when you hover it it will be display block you can see like this but it's going so faster so we'll make it some transition also for this text item let's add a transition here so i'm adding the same transition 0.5 second you can see like this now it's text also going some delay here so now we'll go for this item add animation color so it will be keyframe for i'm using the keyframe color so here i'm adding this animation color and it is one second linear infinite so copy this animation property and add open a keyframe under this section here an animation property keyframe is color and we will set this this for the zero percent it will be filter hue rotate it will be hue color is zero degree and hundred percent it will be 360 color so let's set it and you can see now you can see here in, in my computer screen this all animation color is changing in every one second like this and you can see a good smooth hover effect like this and transition so if you enjoy this video if you enjoy this video please like on this and share it with your friends and thanks for watching